everyone, Brand is here today from the VSN Bros. And um, today I'm going to show you a few more cards from that awesome lot that um, was given to me by a very generous person who we refer to as Uncle Herod. Um, turns out that that's a Simpsons reference. So um, that's where it got from. I didn't know that last week when my dad told me it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll refer to him by. Um, and yeah, he gave me all of these cards. Um, I'm going to be showing you that box. But then all those cards over there, there, all those cards. Those cards are really good right there. And I guess you can see that Dan Marino rookie on top. And all these awesome cards, those are really good. Um, and all those other amazing cards. And I pulled out some of the most best ones. And there were a lot of good ones, so it was hard to choose. But I had to pull out the very best ones. Um, and also, <coughs> I'm showing you some cards that um, a really awesome one of my most best friends gave me. So, um, I'll start off today with just showing you the cards. Um, so, super generous of him. I was able to, he was not going to let me leave without taking his some of his cards. I was like, please don't have me take them, but... He pretty much forced me to do that, um, but then I was able to even it out because I bought him a pack of cards. So he was happy. He got a Babe Ruth in it. He was just joking about, what if I get a Babe Ruth rookie? It wasn't an original, obviously, but um, yeah, we can Babe Ruth, not we can't, but like Babe Ruth had a card from 2016. It was like a Bunt 16 pack for like $2, but he said that I could buy him that to even it out. He also got a yellow and a Stanton in it, which is pretty cool. But anyway, here's a Mike Allshot rookie, which is really cool. Mike Allshot, an awesome per player, and uh, yeah, I really like that one. Super Bowl champion for box. I, any rookie cards of a Super Bowl champion, I'll take. He's big for players that got the ring. Um, Cliff Pennington, I think that's a Target exclusive red border. That's really cool. Super vintage. Dwight Evans from 76. You guys can't really tell that, but yeah, 76. Second year Carlos Ruiz, that's really cool. Prince Fielder from the Home Run Derby. I actually have a jersey card from when he played in the Home Run Derby. Um, so And another jersey card, I bought a lot of them. I'm guessing you guys remember that if you saw um, the um, video that had all of my autographs and memorabilia cards. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice collection rounder out. Who's rounder out? I don't know. Um, Wade Herzog, pretty cool. Tom Prince, that's a rookie. Um, Michael Haynes, wild card, um, Chrome one, Mark McGuire, Kent Colvey, Tom Burtsass, Joe Leber, Lefebvre, it's a tough one, Harry Jones, Mike Young, Kent Anderson, Donnie Leish, Leishnock, um, from Team USA, which is pretty cool, yeah, a lot of Team USA cards, uh, um, Tim Burke, David Tuttle, Lee Stevens, that's like a second year card, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, second year. Jeff Graham, Ivan Calderon, Dave Melendez, Jack Clark, Kelly Downs, Sparky Anderson, pretty cool. Jeff Treadway, 2012 National League strikeout leaders, R.A. Dickey, Clayton Kershaw, and Cole Hamels from Heritage. That's really cool. That's the only 2012 Heritage card I have. Uh, Ken Williams. Jason Giambi, Team USA, that one's really cool. I have another, I have a different Team USA, Jason Giambi. So yeah, that's a nice um, collection rounder too. Jeff Parrott, Je um, Jeff Keffinger, um, Kenny Stennett, John Dobson, Steve Rodriguez, and a very cool Mo Vaughn rookie. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, so huge thanks to him again. Super nice of him to give me all those cards. Of course, I was able to repay him for it. But um, yeah, so huge thanks to him. And um, so now I'll give you some of the most best cards that I got from that big set. Um, so here we go. Ricky Waters, rookie. Chris Slade, rookie. Power Combo. Tim Brown and Raheem Ishmael. Um... Chris Warren, really cool see-through card. I really like see-through cards. Um, I think they're clearly authentic. Those ones are really cool. Uh, Brett Favre, 
art card. That's really cool. Edgar Bennett, rookie. Nice. Will Shields, rookie. And Cortez Kennedy, both of them are Hall of Famers. Charles Johnson, rookie. He was a former wide receiver of the Steelers. These cards are really cool. This one actually has Michael Strahan, which is really awesome. And Marcus Buckley, also pretty good. So, yeah, Michael Strahan, Hall of Famer. Buckley also was decent. So, yeah, I really like that one. Here's a draft picks card of the Cardinals. Um, Ernest Dye, Ronald Moore, Garrison Hurst, and Ben Coleman. So, the only player real known, I'm pretty sure, on that one is Garrison Hurst. But, yeah, really cool. Really like these types of cards. Uh, here's our Reggie Brooks rookie, Irv Smith Sr. rookie, really hit, um, Irv Smith Jr. rookie, card is out this year, Bam Morris rookie, good running back for a couple of years, the Steelers, but then, um, drugs kicked him out and started to do stuff like that, yeah, just made bad decisions, which unfortunately happens to a lot of football players, Willie Rove, the Hall of Fame tackle rookie, uh, O.J. McDuffie rookie, Deion Figures rookie, He's the guy that um, recovered the onside kick in um, the 19 in 1996 when the Steelers played in 1995 to 96 Super Bowl year. Um, and the Steelers played the Cowboys and the Steelers unfortunately could not prevail. But yeah, pretty cool play he made in that Super Bowl. He'll probably always remember that. Carl Pickens rookie, pretty cool. Tommy Maddox rookie, the guy that um, Ben Roethlisberger took the job from, and he was very gracious about it and. If I'm not mistaken, he was on the team for a ring. Roethlisberger got him a ring. So, yeah, really cool to have his rookie. I really like that one. Um, yeah, rookie year, if you can see that. Kind of hard. Camera isn't always the best. Um, here's another power combo. really like them. Boo Smith and um, Daryl Talley. So, yeah, Boo Smith, really cool. But look at this one. This one just says Brown and Ishmael. I know it's Tim Brown or Heath Ishmael. But, um, that's kind of weird that they would only put the last one. I had a couple others, um, that also just had the, had the full name, but that was the only one, the Raiders one, with Tim Brown and Raheem Ishmael that just had their last names. John Elway, team leader, Rush Hour, um, Derek Thomas, and Neil Smith, really cool. Doomsday Afternoon, okay, this is gonna be a lot Oh, it doesn't even say it on the back. All right, let's see. Uh, Leon Lett, Tony Tolbert, Jimmy Jones, Jim Jeffcoat, Tony Casillas, Russell Maryland, and Charles Haley, a five-time Super Bowl winner, and Charles Haley. Very cool. Um, Alvin Harper, Super Bowl card. Yeah, I'm very fond of Super Bowl card. I saw on the back that it said he that he called in a 45-yard touchdown pass. Um, playoff Prime Minis. These are super rare. I got a couple packs of um, playoff prime ones, and I thought the odds were like one in like a hundred packs to get one of these. So, and these are like just awesome cards. And Irving Fryer, really cool. There's another one coming up soon. We got this franchise player, Steve Young, super cool. Warren Moon Gold, um, that's an MVP card. That's so cool with the um, shield logo on it. Not a relic, obviously, but. And the pro set, all gold. Yeah, really cool. Here's the other playoff, prime playoff mini. Um, Michael Timpson. Marcus Allen, after his rookie year, leading the Raiders in rushing. 697 yards. Cut it back then. Shows how times have changed. Let's look at who's the leading receiver. 575 yards for Cliff Branch. That's pretty crazy. That's it. But wow, so a lot of really cool Jerome Bettis Rookie of the Year cards. I really like these cards. They're super cool. Um, I think my dad has close to complete set. He's missing like three. But yeah, that's really cool. This is a really nice wild card of Neil O'Donnell. Wild card, refractor card. One of the early refractors. Team leader tops goal. So the gold version of the team leader. I'm Chris Warren. Another Chris Warren. Pretty good. Second year Ray Lewis. Tony Martin, um, action sticker. These two came from, like, my the first box I looked through. There's another one coming up soon. Um, here's a Steve McNair rookie. That's super cool. Kerry Collins rookie, also really cool. Joey Galloway, Warren Sapp, really cool. Only Hall of Famer out of that batch. But, yeah, super, super cool, all that stuff. Um, McNair wasn't Hall of Famer, right? I don't think so. 
Marshall Falk was because the Hall of Fame rookie and Willie McGinnis, I'm pretty sure, is a Hall of Famer. Trent Dilfer, Super Bowl winning quarterback, led his team to the Super Bowl championship in the Ravens in 2000, three years after moving to Baltimore from the Cleveland Browns, but I had to change it to there. It's pretty brutal. Uh, and here's Bryant Young, rookie. He was really good. And rounding it out, this was like the 10th card I saw. A Tiki Barber rookie. This was a huge surprise. So yeah, these are like all like the awesome surprises that I found that I wasn't really expecting. Really, I was expecting like none of this. But like just looking through the collection here or there, they'd be like this Ricky Waters rookie or this Chris Lay rookie. Or, um, but yeah, so super cool. Really like all of that stuff. It was really awesome. I'm going to try to not talk as much this time because I did a lot of talking and I didn't show up that many cards in the last video. And I'm also going to try to stick to a shorter video today. We'll see how that plays out. Um, here's some collectible mini helmets. It's kind of funny because I was like looking through our garage and I found the Indians and the Rays. So I'm covering up the Indians over the Rays, but it's not looking too good right now. Two and a half games out of the wild card. And here's the Rubber Ducks Cup. Um, Francisco Lindor, Bradley Zimmer, and Mike Clevenger. So yeah, the Indians are going to need to pull off a stunner. Um, if they can do it, though, there's a chance. Alright, so now I'm going to show you... Um, championship collection from this year. Uh, 20 factory sealed packs inside, 4 hobby packs guaranteed. Also, there was like this little mini um, box in there. A little case of cards that had like five cards in it, and I can't find it because like that was also when we're from our vacation spot. Um, I got to like when we were coming back, it was I couldn't um, find. I, I they just got put somewhere probably. Um, oh, another awesome surprise I got was um, these really cool uncut sheets. I got two of them. So yeah, really cool uncut sheets are really hard to show on camera. Um, but yeah, so, turn on the light there, that's better. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going to show you these, what I got in here. So I didn't find it, they were all Super Bowl cards, so I think I got a Drew Brees, I know I got a Ben Roethlisberger, that's really cool, I'm hoping I can find it. Um, Eli Manning, a Peyton Manning. And there was one more. I think it was Russell Wilson. That's the other one. Yeah. Okay, so 20 packs for $20. You really can't beat it. Possibilities are endless. And I did get one hit to keep you on the edge of your seats. All right, so first pack. Gary Jennings Jr., A.J. Brown, Jamal Jones, DeMarcus Lodge, and Mike Weber. Pretty cool. I let Nathan open up this pack. And he's like, I really want to open up a pack. I was like, oh, fine. I'll let you open up this pack. You know, I wanted to open up the first pack. But it's fine. Jeffrey Simmons, Will Greer, Mac Wilson, Brett Rippon, and Earl Campbell flashbacks card. Really like the flashbacks. They're super cool. Um, yeah, so. They were all me from here. I opened up all the packs from here. So, um, but I don't care. It was fine that he opened up that one pack. Hey, if I could get him into the hobby like me, I would be thrilled. I'll let him open as many packs as he wants. Um, Nick Bosa. That's a really cool Nick Bosa insert. Ed Oliver. Bo Jackson gold flashback. I like the double inserts. If you saw that um, one video last week where I showed you um, that Carry On Johnson um, card, it had it was the TD Machines gold. It's like a double insert. I really like those, how they do that sometimes. Cal Kempton, another insert, a Touchdown Kings, Paris Campbell, that's super cool. I know that Leaf, like, their rookie cards aren't ever going to really be worth too much because it's like a low series, and, um, they're, um, really overproduced, like, not really overproduced, but there's, like, a lot, so, um, they might not ever be, um, worth too much, but still, it's nice to get all the rookies you get a lot of good rookies and you especially get it out of these you get a lot of nice rookies which is a what makes it a lot of fun to get one of these boxes i would highly recommend it i'll give it my star rating at the end um but i'm just going to give you the um spoiler i i would highly recommend it 
Um, so Emmett Smith flashbacks, another really cool flashbacks card. Here's a Nick Bosa and a Nick Bosa gold. So now I've got three Nick Bosa just from this thing. That's super cool. Travis Homer, Emmanuel Hall, and you never have too many Nick Bosa because I also traded for a real nice one from Don Russ with my dad. Um, so yeah, so a lot of really cool stuff in this box. I really, it was a lot of fun to open it. Um, yeah, here's a cool card coming up. Nice Justice Hill. Jarrett Stidham, it's pretty nice. Justice Hill, gold. Uh, DK Metcalf, that one's really nice. And Will Greer, All-American. That was a, just a really good pack overall. Um, so yeah, you never know how many inserts you could get per pack, though. They tend to insert, like, there's obviously the gold card in every pack, and there's usually at least one or two others. So yeah, really cool. Um, yeah, really cool stuff. I like, there's like, just when I see it in here, I'm like, okay, I'll be, I'm gonna be happy with this because I'm gonna need a lot of good rookies, and indeed I did. Drew Locke, All American, really cool. Deontay Thompson. Here's a nice gold. Jarrett Stidham, Devin Bush. That's awesome. Line, rookie linebacker for the Steelers, and Alex Barnes, pretty cool. Um, so that's all for the 2019 league drafts. You get one, two, three, four, five, six packs of 2019 league drafts. Usually, and usually most of these boxes are about all the same. They might vary in a couple of packs. Like, I don't think you always get a 2014 um, hit. You might get something else. Here's the ones. Here's a 2017 Leaf Draft. Corey Davis, Chris Godwin, TJ Watt, Gold. That's super cool. Um, our Darius Stewart and D.D. Westbrook. So, yeah, really nice TJ Watt I pulled out of that. That was just a really good pack overall. Um, so if I can ever get the cards back in the pack, I like keeping all my cards in the pack. Um, I've started doing that for like maybe three or four months now, keeping them really nicely organized. Here's a 2014 hit because it's like fun to go back and remember how you ripped it rather than just seeing a bunch of cards strewn about in the box. So, um, here's a Mark Heasley, pretty cool. Logan Thomas, Jet Jones, and Alan Hearns, also pretty cool. Yeah, pretty nice. Um, I like some of the throwback packs they put in there. I was thrilled to find the 2014 hit. 2014 was also my first year in sports and first year collecting, so yeah, happy to find that. Uh, here's a 2019 Low Series Premier Draft. Mike Weber Jr., TJ Edwards, Terry McLaurin, um, David Edwards, and a next level Brett Rippon. That's pretty cool. I got a lot of um, Mike Weber Jr. also in this pack. Couple of Ohio States in that one too, and I like Ohio State. So yeah, pretty cool. Ohio State had a lot of good players. Um, unfortunately, they couldn't win the national championship. They won it in 2014. With Cardale Jones, he'll be making it here soon. Just giving a heads up. Devin White, uh, Mani Oruari. Devin White's really cool, by the way. AJ Bush Jr., really cool, Justice Hill, and yeah, another Mike Weber. So yeah, really getting a good collection of Mike Weber. If he pans out, I'll be in good stead. Um, so yeah, and another Justice Hill, which is always really cool. Um, okay, let's start going through these a little faster. So this one had a fat card in it, unfortunately, it was just a filler card. Matt Ryan, Drew Brees, Charles Tillman, Rob Gronkowski, pretty cool insert. Aaron Maletti, rookie. Always like the little rookies from Rookies and Stars in 2013, even though they're not like anybody that good. I still like them. Ray Rice, Mark Sanchez, and Dequell Jackson. And here's our hit pack Ray Rice, Mark Sanchez, Dequell Jackson, and a Rodney Smith. You saw that last week. From, I was showing like the relics and autographs that I forgot to um, show in that one relic and autographs, all my relic and autographs video. Here's a really cool Rodney Smith 29 of 99 um, autograph. Like I said last week, he never had an NFL catch, but he was decent for a couple years on special teams. Um, and yeah, an autograph. I, I was stunned when I saw it. I didn't expect that I was actually going to get an autograph. I was like, wait, what? I actually got an autograph? And I like started screaming. It was pretty awesome. 
Um, but yeah, here's Derek, Derek Rogers, Arian Foster, um, Larry Fitzgerald, and Brandon Marshall. So yeah, really cool. Hits always make it worthwhile. To me, even if it's a, like, no, if it's an unexpected hit, it always is worth worthwhile to me, because you never know who you can find. Um, and even if you get someone like like Roger Smith who never had an NFL catch, they're still awesome to get for me, because I haven't ripped that many. And I think I'll always find fun in getting a, a relic or autograph, because then it, like, makes it, oh, yeah, I did get a relic or autograph, so it makes it worthwhile. Um, Denarius Moore, DeMarco Murray, Russell Wilson, Trent Richardson, that's a nice one, he's not a very good player, like, even if I would have just gotten a Kobe Hamilton, um, rookie card, like I did in this pack, out of that pack, and then, or nothing in that last pack or something, I would have still been happy with this box, because Kobe Hamilton played for the Steelers, he caught the walk-off touchdown pass in week 17 against the Browns, the all the, um, backups were playing for the Steelers, and in overtime, um, Steelers came back and get through Landry Jones threw it to him. Um, so yeah, that's why they were losing to the Browns. Um, so, but yeah, so he caught the walk off touchdown pass. So yeah, I was thrilled to see that also really liked it. OJ Spiller. Santonio Holmes, really cool. I'm sure y'all know about his famous touchdown, game-winning touchdown, Super Bowl catch, and um, the 2008 to 2009 season Super Bowl, and Josh Freeman. Yeah, he just dragged his toes along, right in in bounds. It was pretty cool. Really bang bang play by Roethlisberger and Holmes. So here's just a little Dollar Tree six card pack of another 2014 one. 2014 scores. So cool. Russell Wilson, Brian Orcapo, Steve Smith, Justin Tuck. And that's um Steve Smith Jr., I'm pretty sure. No. Yeah. Justin Tuck, Justin Houston, Albert Heron. Maybe he wasn't senior at the time. Um here's a fat Another pack of score. Wait, no, never mind. I thought there was a filler in this one. 2015 score. They just 12 cards makes it feel always feel pretty fat. Rob Ninkovich. I mean, I think they're like thicker than most normal cards. I don't know for sure, but yeah, those packs felt fat for some reason. But anyway, Rob Ninkovich, Johnny Manziel, Zach Mettenberger, um, Zach Stacy, an AAF player, Ted Ginn Jr., C pretty cool Daryl Revis um, camo card. So. Not numbered, unfortunately. If it was a Topps camo card, it would be numbered. It is not numbered, unfortunately. Um, but yes, those still cool. Dan Hampton, Dante Fowler Jr., Eddie Goldman, Ari Darmstead, um, Joe Montana, and Peyton Manning. So some really cool inserts in that pack. Um, so yeah, some awesome stuff so far in this box. Still got a few packs to go. Jason Pierre-Paul, Danny Lanza, Jamal Charles, Sammy Watkins, Calais Campbell, Peyton Manning again, really cool. Gold, Barry Sanders, that's a really nice card. Kelvin Johnson, Todd Gurley, cool rookie card there. Amir Abdullah, Ravens team leaders, and Joe Namath. I hope Todd Gurley can bounce back from his arthritis. Um, that'd be pretty cool if he was able to do that. Yeah, it stunk, must have stunk for him having an arthritic knee. And then the only um, first down that he picks up in the Super Bowl, only good run he had, called back. Because, like, holy, then nothing went right for those Rams in that Super Bowl. I feel really bad for him. Stupid Patriots. <laughs> um, Tony Romo, Duke Johnson, Kenny Stills, Terrence Royals, Marcel Reese, Adrian Peterson, Andy Dalton. Uh, LaShawn McCoy, J.W. Clowney, Corey Coleman, Trey Madden, Devontae Booker. So some cool rookies out of there. Just like smaller players. I don't know why, but just like little, some like, some of the semi, semi stars. If there was a semi star, like for instance, like Kobe Hamilton, for instance. If, it, if one of his rookie cards was in like um, the 10 cent bin or something, then I would certainly pick it up. 
But, like, if I saw a good rookie card of someone like, I don't know, Peyton Manning or something, or, um, I mean, if it was low price, I would pick it up. But, like, if there was, like, a Peyton Manning, like, pushing $10, I don't think I would buy it. I like to stick to lower price, um, smaller rookie cards. And for some reason, they just appeal to me. I don't know why. Just, like, the smaller name players just appeal to me. I'd rather get a smaller name player for cheap than a bigger name player for expensive. Calvin Benjamin... Jonathan Stewart, Lamar Miller, Justin Houston, Brandon Marshall, Killer Card, AJ Green, <laughs> sidelines Andrew Luck. Isn't that ironic? Because that's what he's going to be watching from the sidelines of his house. Or couch, I guess. <laughs> uh, Richard Sherman, Mark Cooper. Here's the Cardale Jones. He was the guy that filled in um, for, was it Braxton Miller, I think? Braxton Miller was in injured, and then he ended up winning an actual championship for the Buckeyes over Oregon when... Marcus Mariota played for the Ducks. Jordan Payton and Andrew Billings to round that pack out. Um, but I respect Andrew Luck's decision to retire. He's dealed with a lot, and I'm not going to be like those Colts fans. Like, if I was a Colts fan, I would cheer him coming off and thank him for those, like, seven years, seven seasons of, six or seven seasons of playing in the NFL. Um, yeah, no, needs, no reason to be crabby at him. Um, but also I did get in another in a different championship collection box I might do um, I from like 2016 2017 maybe um, I got a um, Andrew Luck gold rookie card like not gold zone from 2012 score so yeah that's gone down the tubes now in price but still cool here's a 2017 Don Russ so yeah, two packs of 2015 score and two packs of 2016 score. It's pretty cool. Here's one pack of 2017 Don Russ. Jordy Nelson, Bobby Wagner, Danny Woodhead, Amari Cooper, Brandon LaFell, Dennis Pitta, two rated rookies, Amara Darbro, and David Njaku. No Patty Mahomes, though. Um, but yeah, still pretty cool because um, David Njaku is pretty cool. Pretty good player. Um, and Amara Darbro. I don't think he ever did too much. He might be out of the NFL by now. Some of the rated rookies and that just pan just do not pan out. Um, but yeah, so anyway. Um, that's a red press proof though, so that's still pretty cool. And here's a prestige from twenty thirteen. I think that Dennis Pitt was also like a press proof top targets one. Is that what it said? No, never mind. RG three, Robinson from the third, Plaxico Barres, that one's pretty cool. Russell Wilson, Joseph Randall, he got into um, illegal trouble, which ended up being um, the reason that the Cowboys would draft Ezekiel Elliott, and now so that tur turned out for the best for the Cowboys because he was their starting running back for a bit. Here's a really cool rookie card of Darius Slay, another guy that like he's a defensive back, even though he's a star Pro Bowler usually. I would pay, I'd rather pay like ten twenty cents for his rookie than like ten dollars for someone else's. That's really good. I like just like Peyton Manning or something. Debbie Posey, Michael Bush, and Rashad Jennings. Um, even though like the Peyton Manning is a better one to have, I just like to get little rookies. I don't know why. It just appeals to me. Um, so yeah, so that's the video pretty much for today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed all of this um, awesome stuff. We'll bring these good cards. Make sure to check out last week's video if you haven't already. And see um, the really good cards if you want. You don't have to. Um, just a suggestion. But I don't like people that are like, check out my videos and subscribe to my channel. No, I'm not going to do that. But, like, it was a pretty cool video, just saying. So you might want to check it out if you're interested in, like, Dan Marino rookie cards. Um, but other than that, I think that's all of we have time for today. Wish I could do some more. Uh, maybe next week I'll show. I was kind of planning on maybe showing that box because there's some interesting cards in there. But um, not this week. But maybe next week I'll pull it out. Um, but yeah, so for today I'm trying to do less. It's only going to be five minutes less, but still better than last week. And um, so, so long for now from the VSM Bros. And I can't wait for my next video.